So chapter one, this is a good place to start, matter, measurement, and problem solving. And there's a nice quote here from Albert Einstein, the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it is comprehensible. And I'm having some technical issues, so I'll have to deal with that. Um, so this is just a, a thought question. What's the most important idea in all of human knowledge? There could be a lot of answers to that. Well, this is a science class, so we'll just limit ourselves to scientific answers. Um, scientifically, it would probably be the property of matter, the properties of matter are determined by the properties of molecules and atoms. This is a very, very important idea. The atoms and the molecules, the individual particles of matter, determine how the matter as a whole behaves. If you change the molecules, if you change the atoms, you change the matter. And this allows us to create new substances, to um, alter the characteristics, say, of plastics, um, to suit our purposes. And this gives us a lot of control over matter. So what are atoms and molecules? Atoms are the submicroscopic particles that constitute the fundamental building blocks of ordinary matter. Submicroscopic meaning they are too small to see even with the most powerful microscope. Um, I think of atoms as being a lot like Lego blocks. You guys know what Lego blocks are, right? My student, uh, my students, my kids, <laughs> my kids have collected a lot of Lego blocks over the years. And I've stepped on most of them. So Lego blocks, the individual pieces, and then you can put those together in lots and lots of different ways. But if you take a Lego creation apart, you get down to the individual bricks, you can't take them apart any further. And that's a lot like atoms are. So atoms are like Lego blocks, and then molecules are like things that you've built out of those blocks. So here's um, an illustration of a water molecule. Each water molecule has one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So it has one of these red building blocks and two white building blocks, and they're stuck together in a particular way. That makes a water molecule. The exact properties of water are, de um, are determined by the properties of the water molecule. If we change the water molecule, we change the substance. So here we have um, water. This is a hydrogen peroxide molecule. The difference here is fairly subtle. This has two oxygen atoms instead of one. And yet that alters the properties of the matter. Hydrogen peroxide as a dilute solution is good for cleaning out cuts and preventing infections. In its concentrated or pure form, it's toxic, very toxic. If you drank straight hydrogen peroxide, you would die. Whereas water is necessary for life. If you don't drink water, you'll die. So small difference in the molecule has a huge difference in the properties of the matter. So understanding the substances around us is an important thing. And to do that, we have to understand atoms and molecules. And that's the central goal of chemistry. Here we have an illustration of some sticks of graphite, um, little pencil leads. That's what your pencil lead is made out of, it's graphite. Graphite is just carbon. And the carbon atoms are bonded together, like the Lego bricks stuck together in a way that they make these sheets of carbon atoms. And those carbon atoms can slide, and that's why graphite can be used as a lubricant. And that's why it makes a nice line on your paper, because as you drag the lead across the pencil, bits of the graphite get left behind as they slide away from each other. A diamond is also pure carbon. But here, the carbon atoms are bonded together in a different way. So here we have two very different substances. Graphite is soft and black. Diamonds are hard and clear and colorless. They are composed of the same building blocks. The difference is how those are connected. So chemistry could be defined as the science that seeks to understand the behavior of matter, 
by studying the behavior of atoms and molecules. If you guys have questions, please interrupt. <laughs>